Hello dear students, welcome to Corona Mass Academy. Today in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important questions, which is asked in PAPS in 2075, province number 6, in question number 24. In question number 24, the question is, in the given figure, O is the center of the circle. If angle CPA is equal to 90 degree, prove that AOEF is a cyclic quadrilateral. Dear students, in this question, we are given that O is the center of the circle. Angle CPA, angle CPA is given equal to 90 degree. Then we have to prove that AOEF is a cyclic quadrilateral. So dear students, let's write on given at first. Dear students, in this question, we are given that O is the center of the circle. And in number 2, angle CPA is 90 degree. Angle CPA is given 90 degree. Dear students, according to this question, we have to prove that AOEF is a cyclic quadrilateral. To prove cyclic quadrilateral. Construction join OB. Dear students, after taking construction, Join OB. We have got two triangles AOP and BOP. So we saw two triangles congruent. This means in order to show AOEF, in order to show AOEF is a AOEF is a cyclic quadrilateral, we'll show extra angle of quad. That means angle AOC equal to its inter opposite angle. That means angle AFE. So, dear students, if we can show angle AOC equal to angle AFE, then the quadrilateral AOEF will be a cyclic quadrilateral. Because in a circle, the extra angle of a quad, extra angle of a cyclic quad is equal to its inter opposite angle. So, let's write down proofs. In this statement number one, dear students, we can write triangle AOP congruent to triangle BOP. So triangle AOP we can write congruent to triangle BOP by side angle and side fact by SAS fact. This means we can take AP is equal to BP because perpendicular drawn from the center by C the chord. We can take AP is equal to BP. This means in a circle perpendicular drawn from the center to a chord by C the chord. That means if OP is perpendicular to AB, we are already given angle ACP 90 degree. We are given already angle CPA 90 degree. That means OP is perpendicular to AB. So this means if perpendicular, if perpendicular is drawn from the center to a chord, then the perpendicular by the chord. That means AP we can write equal to BP because OP is perpendicular to AB. And dear students, we can take angle OPA is called OPB. because both are 90 degree so we can write both are 90 degree because angle CPA is given 90 degree because angle CPA is given equal to 90 degree dear students so we have got AP is equal to BP because OP is perpendicular to AB angle OP is equal to angle OPB both are 90 degree and we can take OP is equal to OP we can also take OP is equal to OP because they are common sides because OP is equal to OP is common side of triangle AOP and BOP. So distance we can easily show triangle AOP and BOP congruent by side angle and side fact. Dear students in the statement number two now we can write 
एंगल ए ओ पी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी ओ पी वी कैन राइट एंगल ए ओ पी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी ओ पी द रीजन इज कॉरिस्पोडिंग एंगल्स ऑफ कॉरिस्पोडिंग एंगल्स ऑफ कॉन्गुरेंट ट्राइंगल्स नाउ इन द स्टेटमेंट नंबर थ्री डेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन राइट एंगल ए ओ पी इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ एंगल ए ओ बी इट इज फ्रॉम स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू डेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स सिंस एंगल ए ओ पी एंड एंगल बी ओ पी आर इक्वल सो नाउ वी कैन राइट एंगल ए ओ पी इज हाफ ऑफ एंगल ए ओ बी सो इन द स्टेटमेंट नंबर थ्री वी कैन राइट एंगल ए ओ पी इज कुल हाफ ऑफ एंगल ए ओ बी द रीजन इज फ्रॉम स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू नाउ डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन ऑर्डर टू शो एफ इज अ साइकिल इक्वल डेटल आवर एम इज टू शो एंगल ए ओ पी इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए एफ ए बिकॉज इफ एक्सट्रे एंगल ऑफ अ क्वार इज इक्वल टू इट्स इंटर ऑपोजिट एंगल देन द क्वार लेटल इज अ साइकिल इक्वल डेटल सो डी स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लिंक एंगल ए एफ बी विथ द एंगल ए ओ पी डे स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन राइट एंगल ए एफ बी हाफ ऑफ एंगल ए ओ बी बिकॉज इंस्क्राइब एंगल और वी कैन एंगल एट द सोलम पेरेंट्स इज हाफ ऑफ द सेंट्रल एंगल स्टैंडिंग ऑन द सेम आर्क डे स्टूडेंट्स एंगल ए ओ बी इज स्टैंडिंग ऑन द आर्क ए सी बी एंड एंगल ए एफ बी इज ऑल्सो स्टैंडिंग ऑन द सेम आर्क ए एस बी so by using the relation between circumference angle and angle at the center standing on the same arc we can write angle a of b is half of angle a of b so in the statement number 4 so in the statement number 4 we can write angle a of b angle a of b is equal to half of angle a of b so the reason is relation between relation between central angle and circumference angle standing on the same arc so dear students angle a of b is equal to we can add half of angle a of b angle a of b angle a of b we can write half of angle a of b by using the relation between central angle and circumference angle is standing on the same arc or we can say angle inscribed angle is half of the central angle is standing on the same arc so dear students now so dear students after writing angle a of b is called half of angle a of b now we can combine statement 3 and 4 Angle A O P is half of angle A O B, and angle A F B is half of angle A O B. That means the arises part of statement number three and four are same, so we can write the arises part also equal. Angle A O P is equal to angle A F B. The reason is from the reason is from statement. The reason is from statement three and four. So when we combine statement three and four, then we get angle A O P is called angle A F B. So dear students, now we have got angle A O P is called angle A F B. That means we have got extra angle of quad A O E F. The extra angle of quad equal to its inter opposite angle. So now we can say that A O E F is a side equal angle. So now we can say that. In the statement number six, we can say that A O E F, A O E F is a cyclic quad. The reason is from statement five. In the statement number five, we have got extra angle of exterior angle of a quad is equal to is equal to its its interior opposite. angle so dear students we have got the solution of question number 24 so before we end 
this video let us discuss the process we have followed in the question we are given that o is the center of the circle and angle cpa is given equal to 90 degree then we have to prove that aoef is a cyclic correlator so this means in order to show aoef is a cyclic correlator we'll try to show angle aoc equal to angle AFB. This means if extra angle of quad is equal to its inter opposite angle, then the quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. This means in order to show angle AOC equal to angle AFB, at first we show that triangle AOP is congruent to triangle BOP. So we have to take a small construction join OB. So after, join, after joining OB, we have got two triangles AOP and BOP. This means triangle AOP and BOP, we can easily so congruent by side angle and side. Fact, by taking side, by taking side, then angle and side fact. This means when perpendicular is drawn from center to a chord, then perpendicular bisects the chord. So we can take AP is called BP. So this is in the statement number one. In the statement number one, we have shown two triangles AOP and BOP congruent. We have shown triangle AOP congruent triangle BOP. In the statement number one, I we have taken AP is equal to BP. This means we can take AP is equal to BP because perpendicular drawn from center to a chord bisects the chord that means op will divide ab into equal parts so we can write ap is called bp the reason is op perpendicular to ab then we can take angle opa is equal to angle opb because we are given that angle cpa is 90 degree so if this angle is 90 degree then we can write angle opa and angle opb both 90 degree they are the supplementary angles of angle cpa distance then we can write OP is called OP, common side. That means by side, angle side. By SS fact, we have shown the two triangles AOP and BOP congruent. Dear students, by SS fact, we have shown two triangles congruent. After showing two triangles AOP and BOP congruent, dear students, we can write angle AOP is called BOP, which are the corresponding angles of congruent triangles. So we can write angle AOP is called BOP, which are the corresponding angles of congruent angles. Test means if angle AOP and BOP are equal, then we can write we can also write angle AOP half of angle AOB. So this means from the statement number two, we can also write angle AOP is called half of AOB because AOP and BOP are equal. Two angles AOP and BOP are equal. So if we add AOP and BOP, then we get the angle AOB. That means angle AOP will be half of angle AOB. So from statement number two, statement number two, we can add AOP is equal half of AOB. Now dear students, our target is to link angle AOP with angle AFB. Now we can easily link angle AOP with angle AFB. So by using the relation between angle at the center and angle at the circumference standing on the same mark we can write angle a of b is half of angle a of b inscribed angle is half of the central angle standing on the same mark or we can say angle at the circumference is half of the angle at the center standing on the same mark so this is now we can write angle a of b is equal to angle a o b Dear students, in the statement number 4, we have written a, angle A of B. We have written A of B is called half of angle A of B. We have written angle A of B is equal to half of angle A of B. The reason is relation between angle at the center. The reason is relation between central angle and the solvents angle is standing on the same arc. Dear students, now we can easily combine statement number three and four because r is part of statement three and four are same both are both angles 
are equal to half of angle of AOB. So we can write AOP is equal to AFB. AOP is half of AOB and angle AFB is also half of angle AOB. So we can write AOF is equal to angle AFB from a statement number 3 and 4. So this is we have got angle AOP is equal to AFB. AOP is equal to angle AFB. In the statement number 5 we have got angle AOP is equal to angle AFB. That means we have got the extra angle of quadrilateral AOEF, the extra angle of quadrilateral AOEF equal to its entire opposite angle. So this means after showing angle AOP equals to angle AFB, we can say that AOEF is a cyclic quadrilateral. We can say that AOEF is a cyclic quadrilateral from its statement of 5 since extra angle is equal to of a quad is equal to its inter opposite angle. Dear students, I hope that you have understood the solution of question number 24. So thank you, thanks for watching this video. And if you have not subscribed our YouTube channel Corner Mass Academy, please subscribe it. And also press the notification bell icon so that when any new video is uploaded, then you can easily get it. And again, we'll meet next video with a new content. Till then, bye. Have a nice day.